That's it. Nice. Okay. Still have a lot of drive, a lot of focus. Good. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Kennel. Oh, man. All right, everybody, we've got Clutch here for his next video, and we're gonna show you a really cool drill that's gonna start incorporating a lot of the things that we've been building up to to this point. Clutch here is 16 weeks old, so that's four months for any of you that can't do math. <laughs> Um, what we're going to be incorporating is his collar conditioning to a place board. We're actually going to do a brief introduction because this will be his first time utilizing the climb stand, which we use a lot in retrieving drills. And um, today's wearing the MR1100. We're using DT Systems, just smaller puppy bumpers. We're going to be playing retrieving games with him, but incorporate this vibrate conditioning to a place board to kind of help direct him back to me. We'll also allow him to leave the place board to go make retrieves, not incorporating any steadiness into this, but it is going to start to allow him to be, to be building some behaviors toward what our end goal will be. Now, if this is your first time to the channel or this is your first video you are finding of ours, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and throw a comment saying this is your first time in the comment section below. Let's get started with this guy. To start with, we need to teach him this specific board. Now. Let me make sure here, dog number three, we are vibrating. I had some collar malfunctions in my last video and we'll make sure that we're not gonna have them again. So to start with, vibrate is on. Hey, kennel right here. Good, come on, come on, come on. It's new, good job. Show him, help him, good job. Right here, vibrate's on again. Kennel, nice. See how long that took? We've already built a strong foundation around kennel means to go someplace. He's had similar platforms with the Coranda beds, and now we've got him here that he can jump up on this easily. Good, okay, we're gonna do one more. Vibrate here's on, clutch kennel, good. See how easy that was? Now this climb that we have here has their non-stick surface on there as well. Ooh. You see this right here, this little rocking stuff? We're gonna actually tighten, it just means one of these legs is not all the way tightened in, which happens sometimes because they are removable. And then we just need to make sure that it's settled on the ground. Good. We want him to feel comfortable there and an uneven surface or an unsteady surface isn't gonna do that. Kennel, clutch, kennel, hey, kennel. Good, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, okay. Lost a little momentum with it being unstable. Hey, kennel. Come on, kennel, good, that's it, right there. Now, I have this set up to help with a couple different things. Earlier, he was kind of shading toward my right. Somebody made a comment, oh, you give him treats out of your right hand. Well, I do that with every single dog that I train because I'm right-handed and not every dog shades to the right side. So it was a good idea, but I don't think it's 100% the case with him. In this situation though, what we're going to incorporate is him coming back to my left. This place board is going to be where he's at. We have it positioned on my left. It's gonna teach those things for him. Now, we're gonna start here, okay, with a little bit of a fun bumper type of situation to get him pumped up. Good. Add a boy, and we're gonna to talk to him. Yeah, that's a good job. Moving our body. Come on, come on, come on. He's not collar conditioned for recall. Hey, 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 hey. So we can't really utilize that yet. He's very cooperative, willing to come back. Good. Play just a little bit of tug on that bumper to get a good strong grip on it. Good. These are kind of what his retrieving sessions are looking like, but now we're gonna be able to utilize vibrate to that place board. It's kind of like a, a baby hack, if you will, as a middle ground between what will ultimately become a vibrate conditioning to recall later in his training. Clutch, kennel. Kennel, good boy. Now we're gonna send him from this board. Okay, he can go get it. Good boy, vibrates on. Hey, 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 kennel right here. Come on, come on, finish it right here. Clutch, 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 come on. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, look at that, a puppy laid down to chew on a bumper. Has anybody else seen this at home? Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Clutch, 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 hey. Move our body, good, come on. Get him moving. 
Come on. Bring that here. Right here. Right here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, kennel up, right here, there you go, kennel up, come on, kennel, 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 good, right here, kennel, let's try this again, clutch, kennel, good, okay, short retrieve, we're going to try it again, hey, 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 right here, right here, now, here. Clutch, 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 clutch. Using my body to try and direct him. Hey, hey, hey. Ha, ha, ha. Vibrate is on this whole time so that you're aware. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kennel. Nice job. Finish it up. Kennel. Good. Good job. Okay, nice. Maybe we can take the feet off so it's not such a big jump up onto it. Could be. Here, kennel. Clutch, clutch, kennel, kennel. Good boy. Okay. Well, taking the feet off is one option. I don't know if that's necessarily our issue, but these are how sometimes, folks, when you've got your training sessions at home, you need to adapt. If the things aren't working perfectly, this is a drill that we've done with quite a few different dogs, but it's not working perfectly for him. So it either means he's not ready for it yet, or we need to change some things. So this, like Kat said, is gonna be a baby step. This is gonna make it a little easier to get on and off. Here, kennel, good. Okay, we're not looking for any steadiness. All I'm looking for is a specific direction for him to bring that, come on. Come on, Clutch! Come on, Clutch! Hey, hey, hey! Atta boy! Atta boy! Good job! Right here, Clutch. Kennel. Good. That was a fantastic idea, Cat. Vibrates on. Clutch, Clutch, Clutch. Clutch, here. Kennel. Come on. Come on, right here, kennel, right here, kennel. He's having trouble thinking about multiple concepts at a time, really, is what it looks like right now, which just probably means that we're a little bit too young for this. Hey, 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 clutch, 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 clutch. I thought it was gonna help us, because he plays a little bit of these parading games with his bumpers. Come on, right here, kennel, clutch, kennel. Good, good job. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. Sit. Sit. Hi. Sit. Nice. Okay. Still have a lot of drive, a lot of focus. Good. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Kennel. Oh, man. I'm going to count that as a win, and that's how we're going to end this session. He's got a good grip on it. We made some really good progress from not being able to figure out how to get back to the platform at all to taking a, you know, a baby step or a smaller step, making this a smaller transition, easier to get on, and then getting a decent one and then getting a really good one. He still made a little loop around me. It's not the end of the world, but he ended up on the platform. Now that, like I said, is a win. I'm not gonna be a greedy trainer here and we're gonna end this session for him. We're gonna incorporate this into his weekly. Yes, with a puppy this young, we're working on a lot of things. So retrieving isn't a daily activity at this stage in the game. It's more of a weekly activity. It should come out, it should be a lot of fun, and it should end like this. Okay, come on. Where he's excited to chase. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, 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 come on. He says, throw it for me. Yeah. Good. And then leave him with that level of excitement. He needs to be chasing, he needs to be excited about it, and then it's gone. Now, you'll see that able to, and basically it's gonna set him up for a situation where he's super excited for it the next time it comes out, and you'll be able to continue to build that drive and desire around retrieving, or retrieving that specific object, 
over time. As long as you're not overdoing things, it is going to work out fantastic. So that is all we have time for today with Clutch. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun and he and I will see you in his next video. Thank you.